No, but what it is with the anger issue, the little, I'm no expert, but with a little bit of study that I've done, um, how this anger issues manifest is this, yeah? The boys, first set of person or first male figure that a boy relates to is his father, as mm-hmm. in he's another man, He was mm-hmm. he's another boy, he's a man. That's how mum relates to the daughters as on a girly level in the team. Boys relate to father as a man and they evaluate and judge him. Now subconsciously from a young age, especially if mum is very masculine and ferocious and aggressive, has anger issues herself, personality disorders and mm. generally want to rule the roost and whatnot in whatever manner she chooses to. When they see how disposable dad is, how helpless dad is, do you understand? We're talking about subconscious programming here. Mm. How disposable how helpless father is and how society doesn't respect a man Mm -hmm. subconsciously i'm a boy i'm not talking about consciously subconscious Mm. programming that's how i'll be treated i'll get older yeah no absolutely and in order to rebel against this subconsciously i'm not going to be like that yeah i won't be treated like that i won't be as disposable as as my father do you Mm -hmm. see what i'm saying subconsciously and this is where the anger issues manifest from the fact that they're trying to control everything around them because they don't want to be as useless and disposable Mm. as the first man that they experienced was or was treated like are you with me so these anger issues do stem from that and that anger those anger issues are generational trauma they're carrying and they Mm. need to if you can reach to them you know reach out to them to release this negativity and this trauma no yeah yeah. but what i wanted to ask you was this so when you've um when you had your moment of awakening and you started self-reflecting on mm. your life, your relationship with your mother, how... Because you got to understand, mm. if mum has ultimate control of this ship, your brothers and sisters will react and follow subconscious instruct, instructions from the general. Mm. So if you have now slightly come up against this narrative and gone against the grain how did your siblings react to this position that you've taken well i don't talk to them <laughs> oh really or this is this is what i'm talking about so they will side with general um, Sorry, the general not not really actually this is the thing they've completely abandoned my mother but they don't talk to you either. Um, no, As because such. the thing is we've had like uh, you know we've, this is what i'm saying it's um because of the anger, right? Because my mother was the Angry. way she yeah, she abused my father, physically abused, physically abused us. Um, I know this sounds very general, but you know, just for time sensitive. Because we grew up in that environment, right? So much anger and so mm-hmm. much all this hostility. We then fought amongst each other. Yeah. My my mother just pulled us apart. We had no resolution, you know? Uh-huh. It's like it's like with my with my father. She would never sit down with my father, never apologize. You know, I'm sorry. I've never seen that. Can you imagine yeah. being married to somebody for forty years and never ever receiving a freaking apology from them? I've experienced that. Never re- receiving an apology from someone you're with. Yeah, it's, a client. Sorry, a client of mine experienced that. Many clients that I speak to have experienced that. Sorry, carry on. No, uh, no, and and it's it's so powerful for a child to witness. A good healthy relationship like you know oh please forgive me i'm sorry and you know something like i've never witnessed that and um so my parent my my mother would separate our siblings right because that's what she would do she would just uh-huh. shout at my father and then wait for him to leave it was just a continuous cycle the toxic environment in toxic to environment say the least, yeah. but what what i'm getting at is that um she left us with just nothing to you know she, because we all, all all we knew was anger we would fight amongst ourselves and basically we would just build grudges as adults uh-huh. to the point where now we just don't talk to each other. But the other thing is that um, they're slowly like abandoning my mother. They're slowly seeing past. Yes. And now I think my mother's realizing I wasted, you know, why don't my children want to talk to me? Why don't my children want to know me? You alienated us from my father and our childhood was pretty much just shouting and things. Again, it's a short lived they yeah. don't think about the long-term effects 